hello everybody we are starting off this video with a voiceover instead of an intro <laughs> so you have to let me know how you like this but i thought i would take you guys around and see the absolute chaos that is my house after a day at home with the kids uh and just trying to survive through teething and we had some therapy this morning. It was kind of a crazy day. But I hope you guys are excited for this video. Let's jump in to the cleaning. So first things first, I decided to throw in um, my load of laundry that was in the washer into the dryer and get a load going in the washer so we could get that rolling while I was working on other stuff around the rest of the house. Um, I set the camera down and then realized later that this is, the dryer is running so it's the shakiest clip ever. <laughs> but we got this started before we moved into the kitchen. working on picking up around the kitchen and throwing stuff away and putting all the food and things that can go back in their places back where they belong cleaning off my counters so I have a good space to work in before I put away the clean dishes and then load up the dishwasher and uh, run it and then wash the dishes that I can't run it through the dishwasher so we had a pretty fun day today me and the girls just hung out um, and didn't really get into very much Naomi's doing really, really, really well with her um, CI, so we were working on using our flashcards to talk about different items in our house, and that's what we spent most of the day doing today. <laughs> to my favorite part of cleaning up putting away the dishes in the dishwasher ever since we got our dishwasher this has been like the easiest part of cleaning up and I absolutely love it I wouldn't trade anything in the entire world for this dishwasher <laughs> I absolutely love it um it's made my life so much easier, especially with the kids having cups. Their cups have so many little pieces and parts, and I don't have to stand there and try to scrub them myself. I can just throw them in there, and they come out clean, and I've got fresh cups and fresh dishes to go. So if you're thinking about adding a dishwasher and you're kind of on the fence about it, bite the bullet and do it. And honestly, this dishwasher was not as expensive as I would have expected. Um, it was extremely affordable, so... Just give it a shot, you never know.
my kids cups have like the most amount of parts that I've ever seen <laughs> I feel like I have to take these completely apart these are the Tommy Tippy straw cups they also have like a sippy cup but Naomi because of her CP can't really pick up her cup and and like tilt it back I don't know she just really struggles with that so these straw cups have been the answer for us and we have so many of them <laughs> and when they're all dirty like this I have to use both of these baskets to get all of the little parts and pieces in there and get it all cleaned up luckily there was plenty of room for the cups and all the bowls today usually I'm like having to hand wash half of them because there's not enough room in the dishwasher to get them all in there and have them come out clean but I got lucky today Now on to the hand washing of all the dishes that can't go into the dishwasher. And tonight, just like the dishwasher, there was not that many dishes that needed to be taken care of. I had run the dishwasher the night before, which was a big help. <laughs> and I had also hand washed quite a bit of the dishes. So this was just last night's dinner and all of the dishes from today, including our dinner. And that ended up not being very much. It was mostly just cups and bowls, <laughs> which was really good. So I was able to get these dishes knocked out super quick. guys know what time it is everybody's favorite time the satisfying stovetop cleaning <laughs> it's been a minute since this stovetop has been cleaned if you can't tell I've been putting it off it's getting worse and worse so I know I need to address it we're gonna go in with the jaws kitchen cleaner degreaser amazing guys this cloth was disgusting at the end it was like totally black Ugh, it was getting up all that stuff so I it got up quite a bit, but there was some stuff stuck, so I decided to leave the um, cleaner to sit on it and move over to my dishwasher and give my dishwasher some love. The handprints on this dishwasher, man, stainless steel was not made for a house of toddlers. tip don't let your glass stovetop go this long <laughs> that jaws was not enough I even tried scraping it with a plastic scraper and I could not get it off I think I'm gonna have to pick up one of those razor blade things that the professionals use so anyways I went in with some dawn hopefully that would be able to bring it up and it did a little bit but I really think I'm gonna need a scraper like a 
a razor scraper to be able to get these little pieces off. I even let it sit for a little bit in hopes of helping that and it didn't really help that much. So I definitely think I'm going to be in the market for a new product and also a scraper. <laughs> Really quickly here, I'm just sweeping up after everything is done. I didn't really want to get the vacuum out tonight just because it was getting super late and I wanted to get all of the crumbs off the floor. So I just got my broom out and did a quick little sweep up of all of these little crumbs. And I got this broom and this dustpan from the Dollar Tree and they have been the best purchase I've ever made. So get your broom and your dustpan from the Dollar Tree. Guys, this playroom was an absolute mess. I cannot even remember the last time I was in here and did a clean. Probably before Ella's birthday when I did that big declutter. But oh my goodness, this place was out of control. I was opening all of the containers, finding all the toys, sorting everything and putting it back. And I know a lot of people come on and want to criticize because I don't have my kids help me with this type of stuff. But um, that's just because they're two and a half and one and a half and my two year old can't even walk or talk. So she doesn't really understand the concept <laughs> of helping me clean up. But they do enjoy putting things in baskets and putting things away. And so during the day I try to have them help me with that type of pickup. But it doesn't always happen. So I end up having to do these bigger pickups by myself, which is totally fine because I find it super satisfying and I enjoy doing that with you. Last thing for this clean with me is going to be throwing in this load of laundry. 
And I like to start a little laundry before I go to bed so I can throw it in the dryer when I wake up and that helps me stay on top of my laundry. Whew. Since there was no intro to this video, I thought I would take off my makeup while I talked about kind of my day and the cleaning that we did. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video with no intro and jumping straight into the cleaning. Um, it's something that I want to try to do, especially as I'm working towards doing better voiceovers. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But I wanted to get my kitchen reset. As you guys saw in the beginning, it was an absolute mess. And it needed quite a bit of attention. So I'm glad I was able to get that done and taken care of. The kids were completely out of cups. So I needed to make sure I got all that taken care of. Oh my gosh, I love this makeup remover. It's Mary Kay, by the way. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today while I did some cleaning. I am looking forward to posting Sunday's video. I have also been posting some shorts of getting ready in the morning. I've been getting back into wearing makeup. Because it just makes me feel good. I literally don't think I need it. Kevin tells me all the time I look better without it. But um, <laughs> this morning, um, these past few months, I just haven't felt like myself. My doctor thought it could be relapse of postpartum or that it could be seasonal depression. Either way, this is me combating it and doing my very best to try to get out of the funk of feeling of not feeling like doing anything. And trying to just do like the bare minimum. I think I just really burnt myself out over Christmas. And I was super disappointed when we had like the big storm around Christmas time. And our heat went out and we had to leave. And I built it up in my head to be this big exciting thing. And then we ended up having to leave. And it was not a good time for me. I was extremely upset about it. But anyways, that's not important. My plan is to try to do more of a voiceover format for my clean with me's and try to do um, some voiceovers on my uh, messy to minimal episodes as well, just to try to keep those flowing and moving, which I think is going to be fun. And then try to um, do the vlogs for Sunday. That's the plan for right now. Um, I'm also streaming Twitch three days a week so if you guys are interested in that I'll link that down below I know that's kind of like to it's like the opposite of this content so <laughs> that's fine though but anyways check out those shorts of me getting ready in the mornings and let me know what you think about that I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I did a bit of a deep clean of the kitchen um, next week we're going to be jumping back into the spring cleaning and we will be spring cleaning in the bathroom. It is in desperate need of it. Very badly in need of a spring clean. Oh, I should rub this oil into my face so that I feel much better. But, I don't know, my hands are oily. This is an oil-free makeup remover. It's just the makeup remover itself has like an oily texture. Oh, put my eye cream on here in a minute. But I'm going to leave you guys here with that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down in the comments. If you are new here, introduce yourself. We would love to say hello to you and welcome you into our community. Also, let me know what you were working on while you were hanging out with me tonight or today. <laughs> it was tonight for me. Um, but I am going to leave you guys here with on this one. And I cannot wait to see you guys very, very soon. <laughs>